Okay, this is a uh, 1997 Pioneer. Uh, just measured the home. It's a 52 box size without counting the eaves. I think it's probably a uh, 28 by 58, including the eaves box size, and then a 28 by 62, or excuse me, 24 by 62, um, if you're counting the hitch for the Department of Transportation. Home is in uh, fair shape overall. It's a uh, 97, so it's got some age on it. There are a couple of holes in the vinyl on the exterior. So that vinyl is going to have to be replaced. Looks like there's one, two, three, four pieces of vinyl that need to be replaced. Um, the police are stopping by, so that's good. Uh, shingle roof looks like it's in good shape. Need to find out whoever set this home up and didn't take the shipping braces off. So, high quality work there. Vinyl on the end looks good. Vinyl on the outside looks good. Um, need a couple of trim rings for the electrical outlets. Um, shipping braces need to be taken off when it's removed. And it needs a new hurricane vent on the back of the house. The vents are the uh, actual venting itself is kind of messed up. Needs a light fixture uh, side of the door. All the windows are intact. The AC unit is here. Which is kind of surprising. And the vinyl on the uh, back has one hole in it, so it's a total of five pieces of vinyl that need to be replaced. But that uh, vinyl there is easy to come by. It looks like a double Dutch lap five inch, or maybe four and a half inch. But all the windows are intact, uh, with the exception of the top of the screen door. I have a piece of glass inserted in there. The, uh could use a new light fixture at the front door. All right, this is coming into the living room. The uh, carpet is pretty stained and dirty. Um, don't know whether cleaning would get that up or not. Uh, the vinyl is actually in good shape. It's the wood look vinyl and it looks good. Uh, sea spray ceilings. They could use to be painted and some new trim maybe. They were, um, Kitchen is right across from the living room. There's a dining area here, as well as a utility room over there. Uh, some cabinetry there. A coil is with the house, which is good. It's in desperate need of a cleaning. But it is here. And this is a view of the kitchen from the uh, utility room. And that is a view into the living room, of course. The cabinetry looks like it's in decent shape. And the counters, for the most part, are in good shape. <coughs> Holy cow. Uh, there's a chip on the Formica there. That loud bang was the cover to the A-coil. This is going down into the second, third, and fourth bedroom. This is the second bedroom. It's on the front end of the house. Uh, good size. There's a small hole in the wall board there. Second, third, third and fourth bedroom. This bath, the vinyl looks good. It's got some um, tub shower surround. Floor in here seems good. Cabinetry in the um, 
sink in here look good. That needs to be adjusted. And this is going into the master bedroom, which is just off to the side of the bedroom, or I mean, excuse me, of the living room. And this is the master bathroom. Somebody's done a repair of the floor by the toilet. So it looks like they did decent work there. The uh, tub is similar to the one in the other room. And this is the closet. Not real big, but it will uh, accommodate some clothing. That's the date of manufacture, 91696, which makes it a 97 model year. Uh, Pioneer Housing Systems. Built out of Fitzgerald, Georgia. And it's a zone one home.